Dan back here on the program. Freight House still in here talking Falkville and everybody talking about the brick over the Pricefield Arena over there. You need to get over there and perform. That'd be cool. All right. What is your facet? Uh, first of all, Kevin Adams, uh, you're originally from Memphis. Yeah. You've got America's Got Talent. You qualified. You didn't win it. I didn't. Did, did you get to perform? Uh, yeah, I faced uh, all the judges, um, Pierce and um, Sharon and uh, David Hasselhoff. Now, you're available for parties and everything. I am, yeah. Parties and looking for any type. You're just looking for anything right now. Anything, yeah. You, you're looking for a full-time job, but you also do this on the side. It is a full-time job. National singer, president. Y'all seen him perform here on the show for the last two weeks. You're a professional tribute artist. You've been to the conventions and everything and just received a rising star. And You're just very talented. Well, so what are you dressed up like that for? This is a pretty interesting show. You had Darrell on their country daredevil. Now you got uh, a city-fied daredevil. Yeah. Back a long time ago, Evil Knievel was like the first person I ever emulated. And I just looked up to... And Evil Knievel has been 75 years old today. 75 years old today. I, you know, to me, it just didn't... So you see. started jumping bicycles. Here's a picture of you when yeah. you were just a kid. Jumping yeah. bicycles from ramp to ramp, yeah. jumping over garbage cans, stuff like that back in the 70s. I guess it was just the starting out of me being an entertainer that I did not know. But yeah, I, uh, I sewed up everything. I sewed all my clothes and belts and so forth. I paint, painted up my ramps, painted up my helmet. In fact, the helmet... Uh, so you can sew. You're a seamstress. You can make I, sequined... So girls, if y'all need a sequined gown, here's your man right here. He can do it. When I did Elvis the other, the other you, day, yesterday, all the rhinestones, you had to, I did all that. You did all the rhinestones and all that. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I just, you know, sew all the material and and like I said, paint, draw. You also make bicycles. I love making bicycles, but it's 1970 bicycles with shocks on them. And uh, I just... Now, uh, you're telling me one of these bikes over here that are in this group over here that we've got is worth 2500 bucks. I own one of six in the U.S. One of six in the U.S. And that green. there's only two that are in, in that condition. And yeah. mine's one of them. But now you can build bicycles for just in time for Christmas for your one who wants to ride a lot. If That's any correct. kids still ride bicycles. Uh, there's any, any kind of concept, too. I mean, this is like what they're supposed to be at, in its originality. But you can have, like, uh, someone was saying an Alabama bicycle. I could do that, uh, maybe with their name on it. Um, you know, any kind of concept. Uh, even an evil can evil bicycle or any anything I could just I can put it on there you know just uh, and because I can paint and free free you know hand. All right, well, go back to evil can evil. We got some video of evil can evil. Now he died. Now I asked you earlier. In the beginning, or went right before he died. Evil can evil did not believe in God. He did not. Um, he was on the, the Shub Shubel yeah, Robert, Robert and Shubel. Uh, he. Uh, he uh, gave his testimony, and then that kind of made me feel good because he, he felt like, how can Jesus and God be as one? And he, he just got to, you know, I was thinking, well, someone who's risked their lives throughout the years, and, and he, you know, he said he prayed, but, uh, you know, he, he just Yeah, said, prayed he wouldn't get killed for yeah, doing some stupid act. For real. But uh, I don't know. He, he, people were thinking, saying how that many, he had a death How many injuries did he have? Uh, you know, a lot of people say he broke every bone in his body except his pinky. Well, they saw that on the Sonny and Cher show, and they took it literally. But he really broke about 38 bones. So he was on Sonny and Cher. He was on Sonny and Which Cher. you can do, Sonny and Cher. Yeah, I could just... I got you, baby. They say I love on pillar it. I'm, I'm, I'm confused, huh? Anyway. I am, too. <laughs> so, uh, Evil Knievel, you just still, you could still, now I know your granny's watching over in Florida. Yeah, she was concerned when you said Basically, she mm -hmm. thought, and we were going to try this, but I said no. I don't know whose insurance would cover I this. I built the ramp. You were going to jump over my Hummer out in the parking lot on a bicycle. Yeah, and I'd like to do it. I need to lose a few You're more pounds. crazy. Hey, I mean, if he can rope steer, I mean, why not me? You know, I mean... Well, you would have a better chance of roping the Hummer than he would a, yeah. bull, a bulldog yeah. in it. I'm I can tell you that. I can say it right now. Yeah, no yeah. offense to Rail, but I mean, yeah. that's kind of the way it goes. Yeah. Well, really, he's... So you think you could jump that Hummer? Yeah. Sure. We'll do it. Crazy. We will do it. What kind of ramp are you going to have? I build my own ramps, and, and I'll, out of wood. In fact, I've You're learned... You're 50-something years old. I'm 51, yeah. Anyway, I... I, I still learned, don't believe you I, that you don't have no gray hair. I, I, I don't dye my hair or anything. This is my real don't hair. Don't lie to me. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. This is my real hair. I learned from Evil Knievel. His ramps were like this, and as soon as he hit the ramp, he lost a few miles per hour. That's probably why he crashed his He tried to jump the Grand Canyon. The Snake River Canyon. Snake River Canyon. Yeah. Canyon. Steam, steam did he make rocket. it? No. No, he did not. But Robbie Knievel's, his ramps are on the ground, and then they bend up, and that's the way my ramps are. Okay, let's say, say you try to jump the Hummer in the parking lot one day and we okay. do it live. Yeah. What happens if you break every bone in your party, body? Then I, then I can't move too well. You know, the thing is you have to be confident enough and knowing man enough to, to know what you're heading 
towards. Just like when Darrell, you know, when he when he goes on that horse and just has to jump out and, and get that. Well, he ain't still down. doing it, are you? It, inside of him, yeah. I know it's, he's like, hmm, I think I could do that. I tell you what, Darrell, what you need is let Kevin make you in that leather outfit like he got he her now. You could be the evil hey. Knievel of cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> he is. He is. He can be just like that. Yeah. All right, what else we need to know about your hero, Evil Knievel? Well, I'll tell you what. Evil Knievel, uh, I never got to meet him, but he he has I, I uh, sent a picture to one of his friends, Doug Asermi, out in Florida, and they displayed a lot of Evil Knievel stuff, including the X2 Sky Cycle. And I just wanted to send him uh, this photo uh, back in the 1970s. And then about a month later, after Evil visited him in uh um, he, he signed and, and sent this back to me, and I was just so excited. This was in 1998. To Kevin, happy endings. It didn't end too good. Happy landings. It's yeah. not happy endings. Yeah. That wouldn't have been too good. And so yeah, happy he, he signed that from his store and uh, says, please do not be in it. I, I just really freaked out. Oh, and out. he signed you a signed picture, too. And then a signed picture right there. Uh, that was at the uh, when he jumped 14 buses. That was his last successful jump, uh, October 25th, 1975, in Kings Islands, Ohio where he jumped over 14 Greyhound buses after eight months before then, jumped over 13 uh, double duckle buses. All right, let me months. remind y'all, if y'all need a film for birthdays coming up, birthdays, Christmas season, this guy can do anything. It's now or never, come on me to, oh, you know we die. What else can you do? This our love will pay the rent before the sun. The money's always spent. Hey, we're going to try to have Jackie Greenhall up here tomorrow talking about the play they're doing this weekend. Two shows coming up at the Veterans Museum in a Benefit. Ronnie Marks, our mayor, is starring in it too. That's in the paper this morning over in the Decatur Daily. That's Jackie in the back. Looks like a genie, uh, Shazam, at the back. But he'll like come up here tomorrow if we can get in touch with him and tell us all about that. And we'll have other stuff going on tomorrow too. Thank y'all for getting over. Thank you, Freight House. Thank you, Darrell. Good talking to y'all this morning. Anything else you want to do right quick? Oh, let's do magic, magic moment for me. I love this it. magic moment. Gary Puckett, yeah, go ahead. Woman, whoa, woman. Can you do Henry that Have time? you got Elvis on your mind? What about, what about, what about, uh, uh, walk like a man. Well, that's good enough. What else, uh, <laughs> Only you. Do we want Herman Hermit right quick? Mrs. Brown, you got a lovely daughter. All right, that's it for the program. I got to go on this Thursday morning. We'll see y'all bright and early tomorrow. I got to go. Bye. When you wake up in the morning, you know this where it's at. Everybody says he's a real gone cat. Get out of here. Get out.